growing up in sort of a really sort of crap suburban existence. And when I grew up in Guildford, sort of East London suburbs, and there was nothing to do, you know, nothing to sort of really aspire to. And a lot of the songs on the album were kind of, there was sort of vignettes of that kind of life. I think that's, that's kind of what we're about, really. It's like, and it's a set of ideas of views that you get. You kind of look at them a bit sort of strangely, maybe, and just sort of... I don't like to accept things, really, so I like to sort of look at the other side of stuff. It's more like just a kind of... I was trying to get to the music, just from the way I was like, you know, sort of feminist, Labour Party, all those kind of bollocks. And, and it just sort of started to get to me. It was like, there was loads of people at college who were just sort of so into sort of, a very sort of kind of, a sort of repressive kind of attitude to stuff. And they'd be really left wing and they'd be really sort of feminist. And they'd be at home sort of reading porn and kind of just, they'd be more into their own sort of careers rather than anything truly altruistic. I think it's a really escapist thing to do. It's just it's the most escapist thing you can do is get on stage and play a set. It's probably the thing that we do that I enjoy the most. And, you know, just be able to get paid to do something that's creative. That's a real luxury, really. Just, you know, not many people get a chance to do that. And everyone's capable of that, I think. You can learn to do anything, really. I don't think it's something that you're born with. I don't think you're born with a great talent. I think you learn it, and some people are lucky enough to pick it up along the way. Like, I don't know where I sort of learn to sing or write. But you just pick it up, and that's also a question of luck. I don't think you're born with a talent. I think you, you kind of acquire it along the way. It's moving about. <laughs> you kind of start to see yourself more through the eyes of what is in the press than what you really think. And you just, I think you can, it's very easy to sort of read it and act as a response to it. So I'm trying to read too much of it, really. You just can't keep an eye on it and see what's going on. You'd read interviews with people and then they'd sort of complain about it later and say, well, I didn't say that, it wasn't really like that. But I didn't really come across like that surely. And you think, oh yeah, right. But then you start to do it and you realise that it's very easy to try and stick around and sort of create a very different sort of image to what you want to do.